So this is HDD Super Clone, or as it's known now, Open Super Clone. You can get it on HDD Super Clone website or on GitHub. It's got a viewer with it, super tall and super clone. Super clone is brilliant. They ain't had that great amount of experience with it yet, but it it's a bit like DD Rescue. But obviously it's graphical interface with it. And it's got a lot more settings. So basically this is all your project and saving projects and domains and things like that. Then you got mode. The only ones I've used so far is ATA, auto detect in USB. That's where you select your drives, your source, your destination. Then you got loads of settings, clone settings. So these are all your phases. So I think phase one it just goes over and copies all the good data. And then phase two it'll go backwards or something. But it's got a lot of things, it'll go forwards, backwards, it divides, it scrapes, it trims. So a lot of uh, good stuff. But it says don't mess about with this too much because this is going to give you your best try unless you know what you're doing. You've got advanced settings. Timer settings. This is useful for disconnection times and trying to keep it connected, sort of thing. And then your relay as well. I've got the relay. I'll do a video of that in a bit. So basically, this program is going to try to copy data from damaged, failing hard drives or USBs that have got bad sectors or disconnected all the time it's going to try to keep keep it connected and copy around bad sectors but my phone was just ringing then put me off a bit so basically you want to go through all these and learn them there's a manual for this and it's well worth reading through I ain't even touched the surface of how good this tool is. So I'll just put a. Well, I haven't got a broken USB, but I'll just show you the basics of using it. So, first of all, you have to put a file and open a new project. So I was going to call it test, and I always put mine to desktop. So, you now should have a log file created. You can select your drives, source, is this trans memory that I want to do? So I ain't selected it for some reason. Mounted, that's why. So I'll just uh, unmount. This metric can look at that metric, and I can tell you that it's not as bad as it is in Canada. It, it's it's really really bad here. This is one of the most. Okay, it's got one turned off. And to be honest with you, YouTube now. They are not reducing the amount of immigrants. So it's let to that time. Source, key ops here. So now destination, I'll just choose image file. But you can do drive, block device. I'll just put image. I'll call it test again. Desktop. So now you can connect. And it's going to... You can disconnect, use smart, you can analyse it. Just gonna go through it and see what's what with the drive. Soft and hard resets they're really useful if the disconnection issues you can reset it, both soft and hard. I don't really know what the difference is between the two, but they are useful. So anyway, I'll just start it. So you 
you go, it's done one percent so far. Obviously, this is all your non trim, non scrape, non divided, any bad sectors. These are your disconnection time, you can uh, your read times. Obviously, I'm not doing it all very good justice, but it is brilliant at what it does. This is a good USB, but otherwise, you'd be sharing bad sectors. And obviously, the relay will keep turning it off and resetting it and getting it reconnected. So, basically, this tool just keeps it connected and copies round bad sectors. So, it stabilizes the USB or the heart the drive. And it will navigate bad sectors. Well, I'll come back after it's done.